Okay, hello everyone. Thanks for dropping by. Here we go again with another waste oil burner video. So I've got some used vegetable oil. We're in my house now at the minute and I'm going to use um, some waste oil in this stove. This is a, a boiler stove, um, which means it's got water surrounded in the jacket there. What happens now is, I said I wasn't going to do this um, and run a waste oil burner in this stove. And I'm not really, this is just to show you um, that it can work. So okay, I've blocked off the bottom entry of the of the stove. So air comes in through here, goes up through my burner unit, which is that. Okay, that's you can see that in other videos if this is the first time you're here. Um, okay, essentially air comes in through the bottom of this, gets blown out these holes, and the combustion happens here and beyond. This is my oil feed, so I'm dripping oil into this, and it's going to come in into this bowl here area, this bowl area and burn. Okay, so there's no oil in it at the moment. This is brand new. Now the plates here on the bottom are to force the air to come up in this area only and nowhere else. So that's the setup. Now I'm just going to put a little cap on this thing and that's it. Uh, what happens here is the flame happens within this unit, gets forced out to the sides, might hit my glass, I'm not sure and we'll hit the, the water jacket. This this whole boiler is su surrounded by water. Uh, the water gets hot then if, if I can induce a flame. Okay, so here's the full setup now. I'm just using a tripod, everything here is temporary. So I've got a tripod, which you can see, holding up, I don't know, about a litre and a half of waste veggie oil. Down to a valve, um, there's a tank connector in the bottom of this, down to a gate valve, into a bit of a ton dish so I can see the, the oil going into it and then following along on the uh, 10 mil copper down into the stove. Okay so that's the oil I'm in. You can see it's, it's in one piece there's no uh, there's no joints on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light it. So here we have a fire lighter again. Throw it in. Or actually I'll light it first. Throw it in. Now there's a great draw on this, stu this um, stove. You can see the flame being sucked into it. I have 8 metres of flue between here and the chimney. Uh, it's a block construction, block and flue liner. Now, kerosene. I just want to get this going quicker than uh, a wood on fire lighters. So this has never been um, tried in this house before. And this is probably the only time. So the stove has a, a kind of a cast iron thing here to protect the glass. I'm just going to drop that in. Okay, so that's the kerosene only. Now watch when I close the door. Okay, you swear I had a fan on, which I don't. It's certainly burning it. It'll improve now as it gets hotter. It'll get hotter in a couple of minutes. Okay, so look, here we have a fairly decent stove, you know, worth a couple of grand, and it's um it's burning waste oil. Now this is just just to show proof of concept, nothing else. I'm not going to leave it like this. Okay, so here we have vegetable oil, waste vegetable oil, dripping at the moment if you can see it. Um, quite a healthy drip, right? I don't know, a couple of drips a second, three, four, I don't know how many. Anyway, going down this pipe into the unit and it's doing this, look. Now this is a boiler stove as I've said and it's it's got 15 kilowatts to the water. Um, that's probably 50,000 BTUs or something like that to the water. And there you can see it rising, look, 57.4, 57.5. Okay, and every time that hits 60, it, um, it sends it out to the system. And then when it drops down to 55, it shuts off. So I can increase the burn rate if I want, uh, just give it more fuel, obviously. Um, we've been going about, I don't know, 40 minutes, something like that now, um, on about a litre and a half of fuel um, and no problem raising temperature no problem um, at all and it's burn, burning pretty clean um, if it leaks the glass it leaves the glass uh, you know darkened a bit um, but by and large uh, uh, it's pretty good so it would just need to be trained the, the flame would need to be directed um, towards say the, the side walls which are is a water jacket the top of it, it it's a uh, very decently constructed so the sides the top the back and some of the exit ways are um, 
or waterways, you know, so they can collect some of the heat from the, uh, the gases that they go through. And then it's throwing out heat into the room as well. So as it happens, like I'm, I'm too warm now. Um, and you can see 60.9, 61. So it's pumping now. You know, still pumping and sending that to my radiators and my underfloor heating. So we've rads here upstairs and some underfloor heating and we've all underfloor heating downstairs. And uh, and right now we're doing it on, um, on waste oil. So look, I don't recommend anybody does this. This is for educational purposes only. Um, you know, obviously I know a little bit about it. I installed a heating system. Um, so um, be very careful. If anything happens and you're trying this, messing around with it, um, your insurance won't cover it. So that's all I'll say on it. Just be very careful. You might hurt somebody. <clears throat> So look, I'll sign off at this. You've seen it. It's doing. Uh, it's sending heat to my heating system, and um, it's doing it no problem. So look, if you found this interesting, found anything uh, informative in it, and uh, want to see more, uh, give me a like, comment, share, subscribe, any of that, or all of it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.